Hosea. Hosea means salvation, saved. Jehovah's say it would be Jesus say Jehovah say and we're looking at the condition physical and spiritual of Israel North and it's horrible that God says okay give me an illustration of how my people are up north are are okay go get yourself a whore and what does what symbolizes it it's Israel is selling themselves out to everybody, anybody. We'll see in chapter 2. And, and being a whore doesn't mean it has to be sexual. There is a religious whoredom. I can imagine that the, the thing would be most possible for that would be, as I've been told about the Indians over in India, that they got millions and trillions of gods for everything. The Catholic Church has a saint day for every day of the year. Say unto your brethren, Jews, Israel. Now we looked at Am I and your sisters Rahuma. Now we already did that. We had the low, the not. And God has said, listen, you're not my people. I'm not going to be with you. I'm not going to show you no mercy. Plead with your mother, Gomer. She's the whore that, that Hosea ended up marrying for the illustration. I mean, can you imagine Hosea amongst the Jews? What you marry her for? God told me to. Why? Because you're acting just like her. Your conduct is the way she is. Now you may have, she had may have slept with other men. She did. You are sleeping with Satan and all his gods. Ew. Yeah, but don't forget, God took a harlot in, in Jericho and saved her and her family. For she is not my wife. Neither am I her husband. Let her therefore put away her whoredoms out of her sight and her adulteries between her breasts. Now, look, can you get more clearer than that that you got to get a Bible to change it? Here's a woman looking at her adulteries. Now, Jeremiah said that every street corner had a church, a building, a denomination, a steeple. Israel is look, remember Israel is in the practice of the two golden calves. I don't know if they can smell chicken or not. And between her breasts, man, it's up close. It's being hugged, it's being loved. Or maybe they're wearing something like a crucifix. I mean, you're right. I mean, you're walking around. You know, you got the crucifix of Jesus Christ. Some have to, some have Jesus, some don't. But if you got Jesus, oh, so your God is between your boots, sweaty and yucky and dark. That's some God you got there. That's not my Jesus. I was going to say something else. At least I strip her naked. That means, and, and again, we're talking about the people, we're talking about the, the city, we're talking about the land, we're talking about, and it's not, you know, here she is naked. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring everything out of the closet. I'm going to unlock that door, I'm going to open up that door, I'm going to push everything out. Now, this is quite opposite of America. There was a time that the sodomites were in the closet. And America opened the door and said, come on out! Come on. We'll, we'll love you. And then the churches came up and said, all are welcome. And what we're looking at here, God says, I'll strip you naked. I'll show you who you are. And there should be a shame and embarrassment. That's not today. I'll set her as the day that she was born.
born in sin. And make her as a wilderness. There's no fruit. There's no barren. There's nothing. And set her like a dry land. No, no vegetation. No water. And slay her with thirst. Dehydration. I will not have mercy upon her children. This is the God of mercy. And there, there, there are people that God loves you. God's so great. God's so wonderful. God's so. What do you do with a God that says, hey, I that's no mercy? Jeremiah, yes, sir. Don't you even pray for them. But God, you love them. Oh, will you stop listening to those people? They don't know what they're talking about. They just want your pocketbook. That's right. God is love. But God's also ju judgmental. God's also holy. God's also righteous. God's also angry. God's also jealous. God's going to cast out you. You ought to memorize Psalm 711. God is angry with the wicked every day. Listen, once you've been told about Jesus and you reject Jesus, that love of God is gone until you receive Jesus. And if you don't ever receive Jesus, John the Baptist says, if you don't have the Son, you will fierce the wrath of God forever. That don't sound like love. And they be the children of whoredom. You look out of the Catholic Church, you will see how many religions have come out of the Catholic How many religions have come out of Eastern Babylon? Uh, not Eastern, Egypt. Get Babylon, Mystery Babylon, and uh, the two Babylon. Find out how much of this nonsense today here in the churches. They're not Christian. They never were Christian. For their mother has played the harlot. And this would picture also the, 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 the Gentile Babylon. A symbol of, of the, the, the religious Babylon. The religious Rome. She has conceived them, has done shamefully. For she said, I will go on after my lovers. That gave me bread and my water, my wool, my flax, my oil, and my drink. So what Israel is doing is, she is romancing all the nations. She's romancing all the gods. And she's building herself a Walmart. Look, bread, water, wool, flax, oil, drink. She's got herself a grocery store outlet of warehouses of income and outcome. She's got commerce by the fallen gods of Satan. Therefore, behold, I, God, will hedge up thy way with thorns. Where you're going, I'm going to put a hedge and make a wall. And she shall not find her path. She's going to be walking. Next thing you know, she's going to see greenery and a wall. Well, where do I go? Where do I go? You're at a cul-de-sac. You're going nowhere. She follow after her lovers. But she shall not overtake them. She shall seek them. She not find any. Now, does not this bring you to the story of the Song of Solomon? I am looking for my lover God. I'm looking for my lover Jesus. I can't find him. Where has he gone? Hosea is not about God and not about, well, can't be about Jesus yet. It's not about Jehovah. It's about Baal. It's about Astra. You know Astra. We just celebrated her day yesterday, Esther. By the way, you know, I was trying to make posts about Esther being Easter. And those fact finders of Facebook, come on, that's not a proven fact. And there were some religious people that said that. And I wrote back to them, I said, listen, I will send you a copy of Babylon Mystery Babylon. And I'm trying to think of 
Babylon Mystery Babylon, and then the two Babylons. I will send you those two books. You better read them, or you leave my post alone. Because my post is correct, and your religion is wrong. Problem is, I've had Baptist preachers tell you, you're wrong. I got the history. I got the books. Did you read it? No, I never read those books. Then shut up. And what Israel's doing is she's going after all the gods and goddesses. They brought gods with them into Egypt. And J Joshua tries to say, hey, listen, you got to get rid of them. Oh, we'll serve the Lord hanging on to nut. That's a, what's the name of your god? Nut. <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect nut job. And they picked up gods on the way. And they picked up the Canaanite gods. And they picked up the gods of, of all the nomads and all the travelers of the areas of, of the Middle East. And they're all the gods. That's who they're chasing. Jehovah's been put in the back burner. You know, we'll do all the things. Oh, we'll be in church two times a year. We'll, well, God will give you two times a year. Everything else, you know, baseball God, football God, money God, camper God, uh, uh, trip God, Walt Disney God, uh, uh, vacation God, uh, 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 those big cruise ship gods. But God will give you Easter, we'll give you Christmas. And we'll put a George Washington in the plate. That's what Israel's doing. And that's not what the Baptist preachers and the Baptist church are seeing today. We are doing the sins of the people. I mean, the greatest God of America is George and Benjamin and Jefferson. Then I will go and return to my first husband, God. For then was it better with me than now. Man, when, when God was in this nation, and God was working for this nation, and God blessed the nation, and God brought us into the promised land, and God gave us the victories. It was great. It was great under Joshua and those that were alive. It was wonderful that Joshua died. If any has died. And Dan said, hey, we need some more land. And Dan came across the Roman Catholic Church, B.C. A man that was a Levite called Father being paid and had suit of apparel and images and idolatry in Micah's house. And Dan said, we got to have that. And Dan brought that home to the city of Dan, named after their father, and built the first Rome. Don't tell me the Catholic Church was, was Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church was based upon Michael, uh, Micah who stole money from his mother that she cursed. Book of Judges. And now you got the two moo moo cows. Never mind when Jezebel called in and brought her God. And her makeup. And bring Tupperware to the church. Just sell stuff in the church. When I first got saved, they, they, they were doing that with the insurance companies. Go in there, act like a Christian, sell insurance. For she did not know that I gave her corn and wine and oil and multitude her silver and gold. Christian, do you know where it came from? I earned it. I worked 40 hours a week. It came from my, where I came from, New London, Connecticut. The thing was, oh, if you could work for Pfizer. Pfizer. You mean God Pfizer? That when we had this epidemic, the Pfizer's came in for the rescue of, of the, you know, the shots and all that. You know Pfizer's is a God? Especially among the Christians. No, it wasn't Pfizer that gave the good health. It was God. It, was, it wasn't Pfizer that put money in your pocket. It was God. Go to the areas where the Catholic Church, like Mexico, and find out how well the, the Catholic Church God is taking care of its people. 
which they prepare, prepared for Baal. <clears throat> That's the God of gods. That's the sun God. That's the God that you looked out yesterday waiting for the sun to rise. That's the God that you take your body half naked, some places fully naked, and you lay out before him and you turn brown or red. That's the sun God. That's the sun God of the, of the Catholic Church where they wear the little sun disc around their head. You know, you know, you see them all wearing, you know, the sun disc around their head and the paintings and all that? That goes back to Baal. That goes back. Listen. Well, we don't know who Jesus is. But man, he's got the sun disc around his head. How do you know who he is not? Well, he didn't have the sun disc. They didn't know. The angels did not have the wings. They don't know. Baal is the chief god of the area of the land of Israel. He's Satan. Just as much as Allah is the God, that's what Allah means, the God of the Muslims, <coughs> it's Satan. Therefore I will return. God speaking, take away my coin. Uh-oh, you're in trouble. Because when God takes care of what God gave you, you're not getting it back. In a time thereof, thy wine in thy season are great. <clears throat> I will recover my wool from sheep, my flax, and give it to cover thy naked. God's like, okay, fine. You, you want to give it to Baal? I'll take it back. America's wasting food. One day, God's not mocked. What sort of man so that each all three? One day, America's not going to have the food that she's been wasting. I was reading an account the other day, and I was like, somewhere spectacular, I forget where it was, cruise ships or something, I don't know, how all this magnificent, whatever, it's a magnificent place, all the food that is just thrown out, the waste. And I'm saying to myself, I read an article like that, say, well, it ain't wasted, God will take care of that. All the babies that this country is allowed to be murdered in the womb and outside the womb. One day, God said, okay, I'll, I'm a, America, step up in front. Yes, sir. All right, day of reckoning. Uh, I, I got nothing. Okay, well, I'll find something. That's what God's saying to Israel. Come on, day of reckoning. It all belongs to Baal. Oh, no, it don't know more. Why is it? China is so bad. China is so wonderful. It's so terrible. Russia is the complete enemy, and yet we still do in exports and imports with the rotten, terrible people. It's gonna come home to land one day. You know, we got a problem with, with all these 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 ships, these container ships. Man, that's just a prelude to what God's actually going to do. And your grocery stores are showing it. There's my, it, Lord tarries. It will get worse. And now will I discover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers. I'll show who she really is. I'll show her behind the scenes. And be like, that pastor of that church, I'm going to show you what he's doing. I'm going to show you what he's not doing. I'm going to show you everything that you don't know about. I'm going to put it all out in the open one day. And none shall deliver her out of my God's hand. Now here Israel is going to be given a second chance. But as far as the Christian today, this day and age... When God reveals our nakedness at the judgment seat of Christ, there's no second chance. When you realize that that pastor is a deceiver, that pastor didn't care for you, that pastor w w was a peon, that pastor, w you know, he, just, he was just in it for the money, that pastor didn't care, that Sunday school teacher did not study his lesson. When you realize that friend 
you thought was a friend is not really a friend. When you realize that person wasn't even saved, come judgment. You can't repent and say, okay, God, let me get it right. We're not Israel. I will also cause all her mirth, happiness, joy to cease. Her feast day. In America, they're called, uh, ours are called holy days. You know, if you want to know a holiday that's not a Bible tradition, if the public school system honors it, it ain't godly. Because the public school system does not allow God. I guarantee they allow Christmas and Easter and other aspects. They're not called holy days in the Bible. They're called how ho they're called holy days. Not holidays, holy days. And do you realize there's not one Jewish feast day, one Jewish holy day that this country honors? Take a look at that one. We'll honor all the African American, Quinza, whatever that group, uh, MLK Day, Dead Presidents Day, Heroes Shoot the Arrow and Kill the Lover Day. But we don't honor the Passover, we don't honor. Jewish holidays. Now, doesn't that make you want to think, uh-oh. We prone to Rome, but we don't prone to Jehovah in the Bible. Her new moon, that's the very beginning of the month. A lunar calendar. And her Sabbath, that's the, and those plural Sabbaths, that's not just the seventh day rest, that's the monthly one, that's the, the seventh year, that's all of them. And her solemn feast. I will destroy her vines. We're seeing, we're seeing destruction today. Her fig tree. Wherefore she has said, these are my rewards that my lovers have given me. Oh. Well, you, you see this beef, this cow? Evolution it brought. You know, we could trace the cow all the way back to the saber cow. And here we are. Here we got it. Now it's gone. I will make them a forest. Not really much in a forest to, to survive. I mean, pen, but. And the beasts of the field shall eat them. I'll give them to the animal. I will visit upon her the, the days of Balaam. That's God, plural. That's little Balaam. One of those little Balaams would be the guy with the, with the arrow shooting everybody. Wherein she burned incense to them. Alright, there's the Catholic Church burning incense. I still can picture that terrible, rotten, awful smell. She decked herself with earrings and her jewels. Ooh. Ooh. She got all dressed up for gods, not God. Little Easter hat. Easter dress. Now get off it. No, I'm not getting off it. She went out to her lovers and forgot me, saith the Lord. 99% of the people that went to an Easter service as they did not do it for God. Some did it. I get a brand new dress and hat. Some, I want I want chocolate candy. So, well, I know that family over there. And if I talk to that family... I'll be able to get this done for my house or my car much cheaper, or, or I can sell this to that family. And the, and the preacher's up there. He ain't up there for you. He, oh, I can't wait to call to the preacher boys and tell them how much I had in my church.
Because if it was for the Lord, they would realize it's Easter is not Bible. It's not Christian. And when the guy says it's, it's pagan and you get upset, uh, you're not worshiping God. You tell them I said that. Therefore, behold, I will lure her. Oh, God. You mean, you mean put the meat out? Put the bird seed out? And bring her into the wilderness again. We don't see that in Revelation chapter 12. And speak comfortably unto her. While the Antichrist is killing and naming and I will give her her vineyards from thence, second advent, in the valley of Acor for a door of hope. She shall sing there, all the references to singing in the millennium, as in the days of her youth, as in the day when she came up out of the land of Egypt. It shall be at that day, saith the Lord, that thou shalt call me Ishai. Ishai means my husband. God's all finished with Israel. It, no, he's not. This is the millennium. And shall call me no more Balai. What's that? That's servant. Master of God. You know, they kept calling Jesus master when he was on this earth, but they didn't call him Lord or God. And what that Balai is, Oh, Baal, we worship you. Oh, Baal, we... If you ever heard a Catholic chant, chant, that's it. You ever see them on their prayer mats? That's it. Where your humble servant, you be the mighty God. That's what that is. Oh, boss, really? You need me to work on Sunday? All right, God, can't go to church. He needs me to work on Sunday. I'm the employee. You're the boss. That's what that is. I lost jobs because I want to go to work. I lost jobs. Because it, it countered my belief in God. And God's taking care of me wonderfully. I've been fired by employers who, who, who tried everything they could to fire me. They finally found one, and they sat there the day that they signed my paperwork saying, you know, you're no longer working. You are a great employee. <laughs> Man, we, you, you, uh, would you like a foot doctor to take that foot out of your mouth right now, or what? <laughs> I go to one. To, For I will take away the names of Balaam out of her mouth. Oh, there's coming a day one day we won't hear Esther. We won't hear Merry Christmas to Jesus. We won't hear arrows. We won't hear the Packers. We won't hear the 49ers. We won't hear about the Yankees. We won't hear about Disneyland. We won't hear about CNN. We won't hear of that Republicans and all that junk. That's all going to be go bye-bye. Oh, we got a cable system. We got a satellite. We got a thousand gods. You get 48 channels of sports you don't even participate in. You get another 36 channels of a language you don't even know what it is. You get 18 religious Catholic channels. Oh, you might have three or four that you watch. That's God. Thank God he's going to get rid of all that crap. Thank God, God's going to stand up Jesus Christ and tell you Baptist preachers, there's no more Easter. We're going to celebrate the Passover. We're going to celebrate the Feast of the Tabernacle. We're going to feast the Purim. We're going to do the Feast of the Bible. And then all the Baptist preachers and the Baptist people... Jesus. You know what they're singing in Jeremiah's time? Jesus loves me. This is true. 
Queen of Mary, Kate Turker, you. That names of Balaam, the gods of all the names, that's 2022. They said hundreds of people came down to Daytona Beach to see the sunrise service. I like to go ask those hundred people, take one aside, I ask all hundreds of them. Specifically, specifically, why are you here to watch the sun come up in the east? Are you a Bible Christian? Yeah, I'm a Bible Christian. Can you show me in the book of Ezekiel about the sunrise service? They shall no more be remembered by their name. Mary won't be a God no more. <clears throat> when I read my Bible correct, Mary's going to get a new name. I even heard a pastor, that's not true. Yeah, I know. In that day, oh, that, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a bonus. In that day, you mark in that day. That points to a specific day and time of period. When Jesus, God of gods, Lord of lords, King of kings. Nothing of Easter, nothing of Christmas. I will make a covenant with them with the beasts of the fields, with the fall of heaven and creepy things of the earth. And, and I will break the bow and the sword in the battle of the earth and will make them lie down safely. There is the millennium. That's where they shall take their, their, their swords and, their and beat them into power chairs. There's the peace. There's the peace of the Catholic Church. You know, he gets down and kisses the ground. Peace be to you. Peace be to you. Peace be to you. He ain't talking about worldwide peace. He's talking about putting a gun in your hand and shooting all the people who are against his church. <laughs> You don't believe me? Vietnam and Korea were Catholic battles. When we had the Catholic king ruin this country until he was killed, JFK. A Roman Catholic. Who could have been faithful to his wife. God's not finished and done with Israel. Look what he just said. I'm like a I'm going to give them peace. That's the millennium. All right. I will betroth. I will marry thee unto me forever. Right, how can God be done with Israel? Just because your marriage and God's marriage with Israel. God's separated from Israel right now. It's an illegal separation. And when you want to do right, and you want to get right, here I am. But, but they, they committed adultery, they committed fornication, they committed hoarding. Hosea says, God says, that's okay, I'll take you back. What was Jesus' attitude with that woman who had four husbands? Go and sin no more. What did the Pharisees want? Stoner! Well, what about the man that was, in, you know, you're supposed to take the adultery and the adulteress? Well, what? Well, we can't do that. Because <laughs> it's one of us, or maybe all of us. And then, you know, the Christians were, what did Jesus write on the ground? What did he write on the ground? Hey, what Jesus wrote on the ground is the forgiveness of Jesus for that woman. Go and do it no more. Go and do not do Easter and Christmas no more. But they won't come to church. Good. I wouldn't put trust in somebody who only came twice a year. I think churches that they, that down here in Florida, they, they call them snow bunnies. They give more love and care to the people that come twice a year, and they're the snow bunnies. They move down here only temporary, and then they go back up north. But the people who are here all the time, yeah, who cares about them? We had a church we were in. There was a man that got saved in that church, Dylan, and he fell off. He, 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 he something happened to him. We went up to the pastor. Say, pastor, you know, listen, I'm not trying to intrude anybody's life, but you know, we care. We pray for Dylan. What happened to him? No, well, he's gone. 
Well, why is he gone? Well, you know, we got this family that comes down every year, and they're not doing so well. Can you pray to make sure that they get better, they can come back down here? By the way, he's a trustee. How can you be a trustee in a church? You're not even in the church all year long. Now, where I got off of that one. Where did I get off of that one? That one didn't cost you nothing. God is making or will make it a covenant with Israel and he'll never, and God is never finished with Israel. Oh, I, this is where I got Israel's committing multiple sins against God. God's like, hey, we are in separation. Here we go. We're back where I was. Amazing how the train derailed and went right back on the track. That's America. And God says, oh, look at all the sins you've been doing. Come here, my bride. Let me clean you up. Let me give you a new heart. Let me give you a new spirit. Let me wash away all your sins. And Israel breaks out and singing. And Israel breaks out and it just never... You know that, you know that prodigal son? Let me ask you a question. There was a party, wasn't there? By the way, you know the prodigal son was in the gospel, not after Calvary. It kind of be hard after Calvary when Jesus told the story. But here's the prodigal son, he comes home, right? And the father says, give him shoes. Give him, give him a wardrobe. Give him a ring on his finger. Get the fatted calf. You know, somebody said to me, they, I said the fatted calf, I said that's veal. And they got mad at me. Veal is a young calf. But I didn't call you anything. There was a party. Let me ask you a question. When, when, when the son came back and the celebrate. When did in the Bible, when did that celebration ever end? Nowhere in the scripture says that party stopped. <laughs> now it may get moved, okay, everyone pack up, or, you know, the earth and the, and the heavens are going to be dismantled and burn up fervent heat. There's going to be a great white throne judgment, but all those that are written in the last book will see you in the new earth. <laughs> I believe the new earth is where Israel goes. I will betroth thee, Israel, what the book's about, isn't it? Forever. Didn't Hosea 1, 1 give us the kings of Judah and the kings of Israel? Boom. That's a big clue. He didn't give us presidents. I will betroth unto thee forever. I will betroth thee you know, Facebook, when I, when I wrote the title, Betroth, they're trying to, oh, you misspelled a word. I will betroth thee unto me, God, in righteousness. Oh, there we go. In judgment. I mean, God's going to say, hey, you did wrong. In loving kindness. And in mercy. That's how God's going to take Israel and Judah back. Well, it's not even Israel and Judah. Remember we read chapter 1? Remember God's going to put them back into one again? When he brings them back, righteousness, judgment, loving kindness, and mercy. That's almost like how God takes the Christian. And a Christian is completely signed, sealed, and delivered. I will even betroth thee unto me in faithfulness. In other words, you ain't running back to those gods again. You look kind of stupid when you get to heaven. You're holding your Easter basket. When's Easter? You know, you, you got your kid. Well, when's Christmas? I mean, the mad guy that came to Jesus were wise men, but where do you see them actually going to heaven? Wise men seek Jesus. Yeah, but did they get saved? Where were they at the cross? You see, the Baptist is, is a fire. I am kerosene. And along come me and I jump into that fire. 
and you're left there naked. Uh, you took everything away from us, including the TV remote. And in the back, where can you find a TV remote? That's because I took it through the garbage can. Thou shalt know the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Jehovah. They don't know him today, corporately. It shall come to pass in that day, I will hear, saith the Lord, I will hear from the heavens, and they shall hear the earth. And the earth shall hear the corn. That's funny, because, you know, that thing. Scientists today have done tests, and you can look it up. They got recordings of corn being grown in a field. It can be recorded. So what their recordings, what their scientific evidence and experimentation, Hosea said, hey, corn grows, you can hear it. Again, the Bible's way ahead of science. And the wine. And the oil. I, I assume that the wine and oil be squish, 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 squish. I hope they wash their feet. And they shall hear in Jezreel. There's that Jezreel again. I will sow her in unto me in the earth. I will, pl I will plant the Jews in the earth. I will have mercy upon her that had not attained mercy, this period and age right now. I will say to them which were not my people, and we're separated, we're done. Thou art my people, hey, God ain't finished with them. And they shall say, Thou art my God, speaking to Jesus. And all the Jehovah Witnesses, uh, 